Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is September 10th, and right now we're looking at the visible satellite imagery. You can see the sun rising across the Pacific Ocean. Check out our next storm system to the southwest of Haida Gwaii, spreading mid and high level clouds towards the Pacific Northwest. This is what's going to cool us down as we go through the early to mid portion of next week, but we have another ridge after that, potentially building up over the Pacific Northwest for another very warm weekend next weekend. Take a look across northern and central BC here as the fires continue to burn. The record fire season continues for the country of Canada. And if you want to save 10% off this nice affordable home weather station, click on that link down below. This is a very accurate station and it stores all the data for you in the cloud. It's all solar powered and wireless. Highly recommended. SeaTac, 81 degrees, 7 degrees above average, no precipitation. And hopefully we can ring out a little bit from this frontal system and trough over the next few days. Keep your fingers crossed there. It's been extremely dry so far this year. You can see the average precip for September is 1.6. And by the time we get towards the end of the year, look at the average high down to 67, almost lose nine degrees during the month of September. This is Southwest Oregon. Look at Grants Pass in Medford. Summer weather definitely not over. So we go through next Friday and Saturday. Very warm conditions coming up here. And of course, with that, we keep that fire season going. And hopefully, we're not going to start any more forest fires. As there's still a lot of smoke down there across some of, some of the portions of southwest Oregon. Thunderstorm chances generally off to the east Missoula, eastern Idaho here. And then we'll check this out over the next couple of days. That trough swings through. We may introduce some more thunderstorm threat here across the region. This is again the GFS. So this is the hot off the presses the 12z run you can see the precipitation moving towards the coastline here and not making much headway into western washington or oregon maybe a little bit of light precip here then as the trough itself kind of swings through maybe a couple additional showers rolling through the area but not much as you can see better chances of course across some of the foothills and the higher terrain cascades of washington maybe the higher terrain of bc as well and of course further you go north of vancouver island the better chances your precip is going to you know you're Precip totals are going to be better in that direction also. This is the European yesterday afternoon's run. There's that trough in the system off the coastline, the ridge that brought us some nice weather this weekend. Kind of gets kicked off to the east. We keep this troughing around, but then they quickly build this ridge as we go through the end of next week as well. So we're going to warm temperatures up again, almost like a repeat of this weekend potentially. And you can see the European hangs onto this ridge here all the way into the early portion of the following week. Then it wants to drop a trough down here, but this is the 10 plus day period here. So this is just something we'll be keeping in the back of our mind and watching over the next few days here as well. And if you go towards the end, you can always find something off in fantasy land as another big ridge towards the end of September building. This is the GFS. So 500 millibars, 18,000 feet, similar to the European we just showed. Alaska, BC, Washington, Oregon. Here goes our trough. Starts to kick that ridge off to the east. The troughing hangs on as we go through midweek, but then the ridge starts to build as we go towards the end of the next week here. And yeah, we're going to warm things up again probably next week and pretty good model agreement there. But then the GFS wants to bring this system into Western BC and eventually sag it south. The whole trough comes crashing down across the Pacific Northwest here. So we'll watch that one. We have plenty of time to watch that develop. And then always in fantasy land here for the GFS, you can see another ridge building towards the end of September. Now looking at SeaTac, 78, 75 coming up. Then you can see the trough kind of rolling through here, but then that ridge building and the temperature is bouncing right back towards the end of next week. Another very warm weekend on tap again next week if things continue to look as they do. Currently, this is Spokane. You can see the trough rolling through and the bounce back in temperatures next weekend as well. Seattle-Tacoma, the control run as of last night actually showed two tenths of an inch of rain here, but you can see most of the ensembles don't agree although a couple of them do. But for the most part, the mean is down around, what, four, three, four hundredths of an inch there. So cross your fingers. Hopefully we can get some precipitation. If you see it raining here as you go on in through tonight or tomorrow, consider yourself lucky. And yeah, we'll definitely take what we can get with this system not looking too strong. This is Hoquiam on the coastline here. As you can see, generally the mean and the control below five hundredths of an inch of rain here and then some additional showers as the trough goes through midweek. Here we go with Quilly. Better chances of further northwest you go. Maybe a couple tenths of an inch of rain here. Pretty good ensemble agreement on some precipitation falling there. This is Juneau if you want to get up into the rainfall go up to southeast alaska and as you can see as we go through next weekend here some nice precipitation totals showing up bella bella i showed this one yesterday as well and i kind of misspoke there 25 millimeters is 2.5 centimeters which would be about an inch of rain so you can see some pretty good totals there the control run showing up over an inch of rain there and the mean just under an inch there also so yeah, if you want some rainfall, go up into places north of Vancouver Island here over the next couple of days, and you can see some gusty winds coming with that system as well. Nothing too crazy, though. And that's where Bella Bella is, north of Vancouver Island. You can see Seattle and Vancouver right there. 
This is the daily two meter max temperature. So this is for today, maybe up towards 80 for Seattle, some lower 80s for the Willamette Valley. Cool down starts tomorrow. As you can see, we might lose 10 degrees here on some of our high temperatures west of the Cascades, especially. Then the cool down comes a little bit more for eastern portions. We remain seasonable here as we go through Wednesday, and then we start to bounce back for Oregon. Look at that, some mid 80s coming back to the Willamette Valley, maybe even a little bit hotter. And Friday, look at that, some 90s showing up across the Willamette Valley and some 80s probably returning towards western Washington also. Saturday, look at that, 80 for Seattle. So yeah, probably another very nice warm weekend as we go through the end of the week coming up here. And Fantasy Windstorm Hunt, if you look way out here towards September 22nd, you can actually see some higher gusts showing up here. So if nothing else, it's something to watch. Purely a novelty right now, entertainment purposes only. This is the way out there extended forecast. In fact, let's see if this has been updated here. It has not, but this is 500 millibar heights and this goes a week at a time. And as we scroll through here, you can kind of see this pretty active Gulf of Alaska troughing. It looks like as we go on in through later September into October. I mean, look at the pretty strong signal there. I mean, of course, take it with a grain of salt, anything at this range, but pretty interesting signal there for some troughing, at least somewhere in our vicinity here for the Pacific Northwest. Just purely, a, really just a fantasy forecast, a novelty right now. It'll be interesting to see if something like this actually does occur, though. Six to 10 day temperature probability outlook through September 19th. We're getting these probabilities ramped up here as we go through next weekend. Warm temperatures across the region, and that would, of course, bring below average precipitation with it as well. Uh, but anyway, yeah, there goes our next storm system. A couple lightning strikes out there. But yeah, you'll probably see those clouds kicking up. Maybe we'll even get some lenticular cloud activity as we go through the day today across some of the higher terrain out there. Send me some pictures on Twitter if you see some of that. But anyway, yeah, we'll continue to watch this over the next few days. You know, we're going through that transition where we still get some ridging and we can still warm up. But at the same time, the troughs are going to eventually get closer and closer to the Pacific Northwest as we head towards October and November. And really, November is our peak rainy season here across much of the region. So I am doing an El Nino video as soon as the new data gets released, which is probably tomorrow. I'm going to put that video out. It's going to cover what kind of conditions we normally get across much of the West Coast, including I'll do places like SeaTac and Los Angeles with some more detailed information. We'll take a look at the overall pattern that El Nino brings and why it's different versus La Nina. And yeah, it's going to be a nice video, and I hope you guys can watch that when I put it out here in the next day or two. But anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. Um, get out there and enjoy that sunshine. Probably another nice weekend, though, coming up as we go through the end of next week. So you'll probably have another chance then, too. So, But anyway, um, yeah, we'll, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, so I'll see you then.